Hi, I'm Dr. Yusuf from Cornwall, Ontario, uh, presenting this bilateral simultaneous uh, femtocataract extraction. I speeded up the video five times so that it's uh, a little bit uh, more concise time. Uh, I know how busy everybody is. So, anyway, so I just started the, uh, to prepare the laser machine, stabilizing the head with the strap, drying the skin applying the LOI, the uh, liquid optic interface, uh, and then uh, moving the, chair, the bed underneath the laser and up in raising the bed to couple with the uh, lens that's attached to the laser. Laser will start uh, scanning with the OCT, uh, the different layers of the eye, and then applying the laser itself, uh, the four steps. And then after we've done the laser, we'll move the patient out raise the bed back again to start the cataract. So uh, the right view is from the GoPro attached to the microscope with a 3D printed uh, attachment. And then the left side is the uh, microscope camera. So we started the surgery by uh, opening the 2.75 millimeter incision, applying freezing and then injecting the endocote. And then now opening the second, second wound and then Hydrosection, hydrogenation, nuclear rotation. Uh, the capsule is already done, so uh, we're just going to into the phaco now. Uh, so the, the nucleus is already divided by the laser, so we just have to remove the different pieces and uh, leaving the epinucleus till the end, uh, protecting the capsule. After that, we do the J cannula, cortical cleanup, which is the safest way to do the uh, cortical cleanup. Uh, all the material is pushed out through the wound. I don't have to do suction until uh, we implant the lens. So the lens is a toric lens. It's uh, uh, to correct the astigmatism. The, the laser has marks on the cornea that's not visible in the microscope very well, but I can see it in uh, real life. And this was the lens being folded. The lens is implanted and rotated into the position while I'm doing the irrigation aspiration to remove the, all the material the hydrating the wound, washing the, uh, the uh, behind the lens with the irrigation cannula, and then hydrating the wound with, uh, with antibiotics uh, at this stage here to seal the wound and protect against endophthalmitis uh, as part of the system of the dropless injection. Now the injection is done and this eye is done. This was uh, the left easier eye. Now we're going to the right, more difficult eye, which is hypermature into mass and cataract. The cataract swelling, I'm worried about, would be exploding during the procedure. So the laser comes very, very handy here because it does the capsule axis in, in a second. Uh, so I'm uh, starting the laser, attach the lens and the tubing to the laser, and moving the patient to, to go underneath the laser after I apply the suction cup, the LOI. Uh, this is filled with uh, saline to couple the lens and the LOI together. Now I'm adjusting the laser, raising the patient to the laser level. And then the laser will start scanning the different layers and they start pressing the foot switch to do the four stages of the laser. And after this is done, we'll release the vacuum and suction and coupling and lower the bed, move it out raise it again to the level for the cataract surgery and start the cataract and discard the uh, lens and they are disposable lenses and tubing. Now let's do the surgery itself again. Uh, you can see the hypermature cataract. You don't feel the, the how anti it is, but the, the interior chamber is very shallow uh, because of the swollen cataract. And with this, we, we worry about the Argentinian flag sign which is the explosion when you do the uh, the laser, the the cataract without having the capsorex is already done. Capsorex was done with the laser here. You can see the the flap, but it needed to be completed a little bit with the with the rexus forceps just to the, for the tags. Uh, you notice with the with the endocord cannula, I noticed that it's not complete to, in the bottom. And yeah, here you go, completed. So uh, this is the most difficult stage step in this kind of surgery is to do the capsorexis. Now uh, I did hydro dissection. There's no hydro delineation because of the nucleus hypermature. And dividing this nucleus was uh, pain uh, 
because it's very thick and there's a plaque on the back of the laser. Softened the nucleus slightly, but not, not enough to make the surgery any more easier. The most beneficial part was the later axis formation by the laser. So we remove uh, uh, part by part uh, using the paper power. This is the uh, uh, White Star uh, signature machine uh, from J&J. Uh, most important part is the last pieces. You have to protect the capsule because this is when you get in trouble. So uh, it's cleaned. Now I'll do the J cannula cleanup. Uh, went well. Now they inflate the bag with the helon. Load the lens, which is, again is a toric uh, lens with the. Um, so it has to be positioned in a certain position. The patient's vision was 20-20 in the right and left side, and 20-25 in the right side an hour after the procedure, which is amazing, uh, given that he, she was uh, perception of vision before perception of light before the surgery. So now the hydration, rotation of the lens, positioning against the, the markers on the corner that are not visible in the, this view. Hydration of the wounds with my moxie, injection of the subconge, and that's it. Thank you for